Konnichiwa Nakama, I'm your host, Locum23. You're joining me for Choices of Stories You Play, Love Hacks Book 2, Chapter 11, 11 Signs. You grew up with an older sibling. Now I'm playing as Ashley. Friday afternoon, you're at work, finishing up your latest article for the blog. Hey, Ashley, I've been crunching the latest numbers, and things are not looking great. What do you mean? We have strong retention among our current readers. They seem to really like what we write, and our comment sections are pretty active. The problem is, we don't have enough readers. You and me both, actually. So, we have to reach a wider audience? Maybe bump up our marketing? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but we don't exactly have unlimited resources. The money from Mansing Trans Global isn't going to last forever, and at this point, it's barely going to last us until Blackborn Gala. Jay and Leia's frow brow and concerned eyes. You know, it's getting late. Let's take the weekend to reset, and we'll brainstorm a plan attack first thing on Monday. I'm sure we'll come up with something amazing. Yeah, no need to come up with a subpar solution now. You and Leia start to pack up. Hey, I'm heading down to Ellie for the weekend to surprise Andy and forgot about work for a while. Do you want to come with? It can be a girl's weekend. Los Angeles? I've always wanted to visit. SoCal is so overrated. I've always wanted to visit. Tinseltown? Here we come. Travel tip number one. The locals don't call it Tinseltown. Duly noted. Okay. And yet I'm a visitor. Why does it matter? Soon you're in your apartment packing clothes for the next few days. I definitely want to make a good impression on Andy and fit in with L.A. style. Luckily, I know the perfect outfit. It's literally in our closet and we want to spend diamonds on those. Cool for the summer! Isn't this one of those rumps? Isn't this isn't this what women are making fun of guys for wearing? Which I, I, I make fun of the guys too, but I digress. Isn't that one of these? I'm serious. I think it is. I digress. Okay, I'd rather wear this anyway. Holy shit. That's actually pretty. And it's better looking than a romp. As you finish packing, you hear a knock at the front door. Perfect timing. And it's probably not her. Oh, I guess it is. You ready to go? Let's do this. You would think, like, it would be interrupted or some sort of drama. Guess not. Now playing as Mark. You're just getting home from work when you find... Hey, Mark! Before you can react, your brother wraps his arms around you, pulling you into a headlock and giving you a noogie. Hey, Isaac. What are you doing here? I found him on the curb outside. I hope you don't mind I let him in. Thanks, Cole. Of course he doesn't mind. I'm his big bro. After a few failed attempts, you slip out of Isaac's embrace. I thought you were still backpacking and back in Chicago working on jobs. Nah, man. I split from Chi Town a few months back. Been working on my way west ever since. I figured I'd stop in to see my baby bro while I'm here. Isaac, I'm... He, something tells me he should have called first. I'm glad you're here. It's been too long. Oh, yeah? Is that because Cole Man's been bossing you around? You need someone to stand up for you? He gives you a playful punch in your arm, laughing. Ugh. How long are you planning on staying? I don't know. I figured I'd crash here for a bit. See what San Francisco has to offer. Sure thing. Cool, cool. Mark, do you mind if I talk to you for a minute in private? You you let him in, Cole. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Of course you're not, deadbeat. You and Cole step out into the hallway. Look, I'm sorry he stopped by unannounced, but I can't kick him out and he's family. Cole literally let him in. Why are you taking the fall for this? I get that. I just 
want to make sure your head's in the right place. Isaac's always been a sore spot for you. He doesn't exactly have a good track record. What do you mean? From the stories you've told, he's always taken advantage of you. Like when you invested in his shark tank prototype, or co-signed his food truck, or crowdfunded manny pack, or fanny pack for men, or you mean kind of like what people do with your shit? Okay, I get it. I bet he's trying to capitalize on your success with Dopey Cat. Think it's coincidence he showed up right when the business got good? Hmm. Hmm. This is why you all should watch my weekly recap. I hit that sucker right on the nail. Not like that. My brother, I have to help. <sighs> God damn you! Hmm. <laughs> This is tough for me. And if anybody knows my backstory, I take care of my two special needs brothers. And I stepped into their life to take care of them because I felt I had to. <sighs> okay. My brother, I have to help. His family, I, I gotta look out for him. And who's looking out for you? Look, you don't have to kick him out tonight or anything. Just be careful. Yeah. Thanks. No one looks out for us people that are taken advantage of, trust me. Now playing as Ashley, you and Leia arrive in LA. You breathe in the salty air as the sounds of children's laughter and angry car honks create a warm catacomb around you. Welcome to Venice Beach. Andy usually hangs out here on Saturdays. Leia! You turn to see a young woman rushing towards you. Andy launches herself at her older sister, and Leia catches her in a hug. Hey, Squirt. I'm happy to see you. I'm gonna ignore that you just called me that. Andy turns to you, and her eyes narrow. Who are you? This is Ashley. I told you about her, remember? I should shake her hand, give her a fist bump, uh, or hug Andy. Shake her hand. You hold out your hand. It's nice to meet you. Andy shakes your hand. So profesh. Nice to meet you, too. The three of you stroll down the boardwalk, passing bustling restaurants and quaint boutiques. So, Ashley, what's the life like in San Francisco? You want to know about working at Clicker, dating in the big city? We're gonna click her? Um, not really. Leia's already told me about the company, and I read the blog every week. But has she told you about how cool it is to be your own boss? Yeah, like all the time. Oh, well, I'm sure there are some juicy details you don't know yet, like the time we were profiling the best date spots for hipsters. Go on. We found this underground speakeasy that looked straight out of the 20s. It was so cool, but someone couldn't keep her voice down after so many sidecars, and we got thrown out. Really? I didn't know my sister turned up like that. San Francisco sounds like I could. it could be my kind of city. Should I practice my saying, Hella, do you hella people say hella? Let's focus on one step at a time. Hella? Really? Hella, Pippa? I'm gonna make a big wow. <laughs> just, oh my god. <laughs> Suddenly, Annie's face lights up and she points down the boardwalk. Lay and look. They have Sunday spears. Can we get some, please? You follow her gaze to a brightly colored ice cream kiosk. Sure, I'll be right back. You two enjoy the beach. You and Andy walk along the beach as Leia buys the ice cream. Hey, I don't know what your intentions are with my sister, but I got my eye on you, and if you mess with her... I'm not messing with Leia. I can promise you that. Good. Look, I'm sorry if I come off as harsh, it's just... 
I've seen my sister get hurt before. You mean with Camila? Andy's head whips around at the sound of the name. What? No, I never said that. Andy didn't tell you enough to didn't like you enough to tell you about Camila. Probably because the dating thing. What do you know about Camila anyway? Well, not much. That's why I was asking. Just then, a boardwalk musician meanders over to serenade you. You kill, you steal, you burn the daylight, cause you're my broken bad outlaw. Seth? What are you doing in L.A.? I see you got another gig. <laughs> and it's all because of you. Me? Uh, Ashley? Who is this guy? Just someone I dated back in San Francisco. The night of our date, the headliner at the Mystique heard me playing outside. He took me on the road with him. Then, you know, he ditched me here in L.A. But now Venice Beach is my home, and the people here tip way better. So thanks. You're welcome? Anyway, I gotta keep moving. See you around. Seth walks away, strumming as a guitar. A few minutes later, Leia returns with the ice cream. Uh, who wants Sunday's fears? You take a bite, letting the coolness of the sweet treat melt on your tongue. Yum. The three of you enjoy a relaxing afternoon at the beach, eating ice cream and catching up. Leia, I know it's getting late, but do you think we have time to go to Griffith, Griffith Observatory before it closes for uh, old time's sake? Leia looks to you. Fine by me. Sure, let's go. Why didn't our MC tell her about Ben? I mean, we're with Ben. We told Leia that. So Leia has told her that she likes our MC. That's obvious. I just don't think she's break the news to her. Now playing a smart Saturday afternoon, you come back to your apartment to find Isaac on the couch, feet up on the coffee table, and arms spread out wide. Ah, oh, pompous brick. So, Marky, what are we up to tonight? We? Yeah, you and me. I figured we'd hang out, catch up. You show me your favorite spots in the city. I can meet your friends or whatever. It's been a while since we had a bros night. What do you say? Introduce your brother? No. Let's just chill here. We can watch a movie or something. Are you inviting me to Netflix and chill with you? Only in the most literal sense. Don't make this weird. <laughs> you know, I swear to God, whoever invented that... Whatever happen to sit down and watch a good movie or a TV show? You know, that's gonna be, may or may not coincidentally be on Netflix, but, I mean, seriously, does everything have to be sexually related anymore? <sighs> you start setting up a movie. I got you here. I've been thinking about that dopey cat game of yours. I had an idea I wanted to bounce off of you. Oh, here we go. An idea. Just hear me out. Picture this. A gritty reboot of Dopey Cat. No, no, no. Frilly, cutesy stuff. Like burritos? Exactly! Replace that with grenades and the cartoon crabs with giant lobsters and throw in a fine female lead. And I get a steaming mess. No! You get Dope Cat! Isaiah continues to explain his version of your game to you in excruciating detail long into the night. Hmm. Now playing as Ashley, you, Leigh, and Andy arrive at the Griffith Observatory above Los Angeles. Wow. We used to come here all the time with our grandparents. It was their favorite spot in all of L.A. Whole story says, Oh, hey, we should go in this direction. You watch in an amusement as Andy takes a sharp turn to the right. Andy, you seem a little distracted. Why did you really want us to bring. come here? 
Are you here to meet a date? Are you trying to get rid of me? Are you trying to become an astronaut? I don't think any of those is the right one. <sighs> Let's try astronaut, why not? There's like a super cool telescope around here somewhere, right? I think you mean astronomer, not astronaut? Yeah, that is true. You know what I said, or I know what I said. So why are we really here, Andy? It's this guy, Logan, okay? He's really cute, but Mr. An Miss Anderson won't let me invite him over. Not even to study. He said he was going to be here today, so I thought... You're not mad, are you? I... Leah stammers, clearly taken aback. You whispered her. Reprimand Andy. Let her meet up with Logan. Hmm. Why not? Kids will be kids. She's just a kid. She was probably too embarrassed to admit she really wanted to meet with that boy. Cut her a little slack. Yeah, that's a good point. Andy, you can go meet up with Logan. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Just try not to get pregnant. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <I forgot. laughs> Andy throws her arms around Leia, pulling her into a... We'll be right over here, though. Be back in an hour. Andy waves and runs off. Leia turns to you. Now it's just you and me. What should we do first? There's a great view from the balcony. Lead the way. I, I really hope this is not a date. The two of you gaze out over the city. This city always makes me feel small. What do you mean? Well, for one thing, I couldn't hack it here. I tried to be a screenwriter for years, but nothing. I guess I'm just worried it's happening again with Clicker. Leia, don't say that. We're not there yet. I won't let that happen. I've got your back. I know you do. It's just hard to keep a positive outlook, and the whole Camila thing... Right, Camila. Hiring her was a really low blow, even for Clickit. But it doesn't change anything for us. We're going to win the Blackburn Award, and... with or without her in the picture. I won't let her get in the way. Glad we're on the same page. The two of you grin at each other and notice the way the city lights reflect in her eyes. You... you but why would Pixelberry even throw them this option? We were with Ben. We literally made it official. In front of everyone. Oh my god. Go back to the Hotel Rome alone. You spot Leia in the starlight. What the? You're giving me another option! No! Give her a hug. Bring Leia in for a hug, and for a moment, you pull back. We'll get through this, Leia. I promise. Thanks, Ashley. Ahem. Andy, back so soon? Yeah. Logan had to hunt home. Oh, really? Then why are you smiling? It looks like it went well. What? We just talked about Homer and school dances. School dance, huh? Sounds like someone scored herself a date. Shut up! It's none of your business. Anyway, did I interrupt you guys? I can make myself scarce if you need to... No, we're, we're good. Come check out the view with us. The three of you find a bench overlooking the city. You watch the lights twinkle in the distance until the observatory closes. Pixelberry just throws us a curveball, huh? Now playing as Mark, the next day you and Cole are heading back to your apartment. So, we agree. You're gonna be firm with Isaac and tell him he can only stay for a few days? 
But what if we're wrong? What if he's re really not trying to take advantage of me this time? Tell me this. Tell me this, then. Did he casually try to involve himself in your business? Try to sell you any of his ideas? He did pitch Adobe Cat reboot. Cole shoots you a stern, knowing glare that you've seen many, many times. Fine, I'll tell him. You open the door a crack, but pause when you hear your brother's voice on the other side. I told you, Ma! I'm here with Mark. Yeah, I'm helping him with this game. You appear in and see Isaac on the phone his back towards you. No, I'm not interfering with his work at Sample. Yes, I know it's important. It's not like that, Ma. He needs me. I'm, I'm not just saying that. Yes, I'm getting my life together this time. Yeah, sounds good. Love you, too. You quickly duck back into the hallway as Isaac hangs up the phone. Mm-hmm. No way, Collins. We can't. But Cole, he's family. Cole sighs, but nods. Fine. Do the good brother thing. Thank you. Screw you, Cole. There's a limit even for me. You open the door all the way and enter your apartment. Mark! So, have you given my gritty, dopey, or dope cat any more thought? Because if you don't like it, I've got a ton of other ideas. I'm not just dead weight, okay? Isaac? <sighs> Shut up. I'm not kicking you out. You're, you're not? No, you're due for a good idea. One of these days. Might as well keep you around in case it happens soon. A wide grin spreads across Isaac's face, and he slaps you on the back. Hey, I'll take it! You look at Cole, expectingly. Hey, you can crash here as long as you need! Mm. Isaac throws his arms around you and Cole. Thanks, guys. Trust me. You won't regret it. I already do. Wah, wah, wah. Next time on Love Hacks. Horatio, you gotta help me. I'm freaking out. I potty real hard last night. Knocked back more than my shares of drink. Pretty sure I wandered all over the city. But I barely remember any of it. I woke up just now in the alley outside. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, man. Cole. Oh. Are you feeling all right? Forget how I'm feeling. I lost my phone. Oh, shit. I mean, that wouldn't be a problem if he locks it and everything. But since he's got all of his contacts and all of his app shit and he runs a business off of his phone... <sighs> Ouch. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That's really gonna hurt. Be sure to check out chapter 12. 12 things you wish you could forget about last night. Well, Cole <laughs> clearly does forget everything. So I hope y'all did enjoy. Uh, let me know in the comment section below whether you did or didn't. Also, feel free to like and share the video if you did. Also, head down to the description down below. You can follow my social media or if you want to support my content at all. There's a couple links for that. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.